Well, good afternoon. The snow has tapered off. Our nor'easter has worked its way out, and the cleanup can continue. But we can also look out and enjoy how nice things look with the snow. We haven't had a snow like this in quite a while. Think all the way back to 2017 when we were seeing over a foot of snow. That was back in March, by the way, of 2017. Right now, here's a live shot from our rooftop. It's a beautiful sight to see, and the, many of us don't have to do much traveling. The roads are beginning to improve, and that will just continue to happen as we go through the rest of our day. Like I said, no additional snowfall. The snow showers from earlier this morning have worked their way out. We've even had a little sunshine breakthrough every now and then. So there goes our area of low pressure. That is moving off to the east as it does so. It's pulling all the snow showers along with it. One or two flakes may try to sneak in on the back side of this, but nothing that would bring any additional accumulation to parts of our area. Now here's a cooler look at the center of low pressure where our nor'easter is. And there it goes, moving off the coast. We can wave goodbye. It did enough for us. It, it did more than enough in plenty of spots, particularly in the northern tier. Bradford County right in that bullseye. Remember, we were talking about this leading up to the storm. It all depended where that heavier snow set up. And boy, did it set up in the northern tier. Bradford County, Litchfield, Alba, over 40 inches of snow fell between yesterday afternoon, overnight last night, and even a little bit this morning. Troy, we saw 36 inches, Sayre 32 inches, and Tawanda right around 30. Now that was in a generally confined area. That was pretty much Bradford County. Most of us ended up between around a foot to a foot and a half of snow from Harvey's Lake at 17 inches, Montrose 16 inches, Factoryville we came in right around 15 inches, Benton at 15 inches and Montandon, Montandon rather, at 13 inches. There were a few spots that got a little short changed south of Interstate 80, even in parts of the Poconos where we had a little sleep mix in. It kept totals just under about a foot, but it still did enough to cause the problems on the roadway. So cloud cover lingers, a little sunshine gets through today. Tomorrow we start with clouds, then get some sunshine back through our afternoon for a pretty nice Friday, but it will be a cold day. Saturday, that warmer air can start to work its way back in, and we'll have plenty of sunshine Saturday afternoon for a lovely start to our weekend. Today in your eyewitness weather forecast, we're near 30. Clouds and some sun, it's a cold start. 18 for the overnight low tonight under a mostly cloudy sky, so it's definitely a frigid start tomorrow morning. Anything that may melt today, refreezing overnight tonight. 30 tomorrow, clouds to start, sunshine in the afternoon. Clouds and sun Saturday, we're at 34. The overnight lows do finally begin to improve. Weak little disturbance comes in on Sunday. We're near 40. I know what you're thinking. Here we go again. No, not the case this time. We'll have a passing rain or snow shower on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, we'll have a snow shower as well. Hang out right around 40 on each day. We'll try to sneak into the lower 40s, but we're fighting colder air still as we go into early next week. And those overnight lows are still dropping below that freezing mark. Wednesday, we'll have clouds. Try to get some sunshine late at 42. And we can always download the Eyewitness Weather app and get our latest updates on the weather. Forecast always available at pahomepage.com. And we'll be right back in a couple of minutes with more Eyewitness News.